a B and an A. Oh shit, it's falling apart. Oh no. Oh, there's no. Be a fire in the house. Fire in the house. Uh oh, going down. That's going to hurt my finger. Yeah, that's. Uh, Ow. My, oh no, don't We can't that. complete oh, no. our letters. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. no. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. That's hot. That's hot. That's that burnt the table. Hold on. We're on fire. Happy Fourth of July! Yeah, well, happy Fourth of July. That was fun. Ouch, you son of a. Yow! That hurt. This makes the episode all that. Cause that we're human. hurt. It's so. It was so bright. He, you are not a cyborg. It was so bright. He is not a cyborg. Well, I had to wear these protective sunglasses. So his eyes didn't get hurt, but his fingers definitely did. Take those off now. I'm not touching those. Look what yet. happened here? Look, I got burnt <laughs> stuff everywhere. I, I. Oh, look at that. I got. Oh, I did burn my. Oh, look, I did burn my notebook. Oh. oh. Ooh. I even moved it away from me. Now these burns on this table are going to be forever a part of our set. We did not think that out very well. We didn't say we were. We we didn't. Oh, my notebook's burnt. It's like a record's getting. Cheapers. Hey, so we're bubbing the beard. And we just want to wish you a happy 4th of July. And in this happy 4th of July episode, we have for you today... Whistle Pig, Boss Hog, 3rd edition. The Independent. The Independent. You know, because it's Independence Day. Ooh. <laughs> hey. So, what do we got on the Boss Hog Independent? We have a 14-year age statement uh, written in fancy white marker. 60.1% alcohol, which to me, if you double, it should be 120.2, but for some reason on the bottle it says 120.1. So maybe we have like an ultra rare bottle. that they Or have. someone just didn't know, know math that was right. They didn't. It's all written out in hand. They didn't know numbers. They don't know I, they don't do the maths good. The maths. Uh, this comes from barrel 14. And I, well, you know a little bit about the barrels, right? Well, uh, the master distiller in Shoreham, Vermont, Whistle Pig, is... Uh, da uh, sorry, what am I doing? Yeah, Dave Pickerel. Dave Pickerel, yeah. Dave Pickerel. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, it's uh, age 14 years, like Bubba said. It's 100% rye. Uh, it was... Triple barreled in new American oak, uh, and then spent through bourbon cast, bourbon barrels. And, and then, then the cool finish, thing. yeah. The, the 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 awesome part about this whole thing is that it was finished, finished in hogshead barrels, Scotch, Scotchy Scotch Scotch. That's what it finished in. So we don't know like the time frames. There's not like a you know they didn't say hey it could have been like four days that they've had it in the hogsheads. But yeah, I don't they, know if we know that exact. We don't know the exact time frames how they did it like how how they did the triple distillation of or triple uh, barreling with the new oak right. and then going you know spending it through the bourbon cask and then going to the Scotch hogshead. Mm -hmm. But um, it's 14 years old, so they had a long time to do it. Um, they also um, have this little neat little topper. It's a pewter topper. Danforth. Cool. Uh, I believe it's Danforth Pewter. Yep. It's a company in Vermont. In Vermont, it yep. does them, which is pretty neat. Yeah, Raj Bakta did a really good thing. Kind of like he's the owner. Yep, Raj Bakta is the owner of Whistle Pig in Shore, Vermont. Now we, I believe, unless it was a fake news article, because fake news does happen. Fake news does happen. I believe somebody said that Whistle Pig is on the market. Yeah, Mark Gillespie actually posted it. And I, that's where I heard it from on Twitter. Um, and I follow Mark Gillespie, and you should too. He, he does Whiskey Cast. Cast. It's a uh, uh, radio podcast. show. Podcast. Yep, radio show, podcast. I like to get back to my FM dial, but uh, sometimes <laughs> yeah, I get on that podcast. He, he does a really good job. But uh, yeah, that's where I learned from him. And they, uh, you know, him and I were talking like, how much do you think he wants for it? And you know, High West had sold for like 160 million. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was something crazy. So Whistle Pig's got a really awesome name. They're so big things. We're gonna go for like a billion dollars. We're gonna take out a loan, and we're probably gonna buy it. Just so you know, <clears throat> we'll offer 27 bucks. Dollars. Yeah, we'll offer these two. This, these yeah. bucks. Those bucks. These bucks right here. Buck horns. <laughs> uh, 30 barrels. 
30 hogsheads, so the hogsheads are real big. Uh, 250 um, liters times 30. That's yeah. that's what only is, 30 barrels. What's this that is math, Bubba? 250 times 30. Do it. 12. Um, <laughs> his favorite number backwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is barrel 14 out of out of 30. Yep. Pour, pour yourself a dram there, Beard. And let's see what else. I'm this excited. Is, so this is the third edition. The first edition did not have a pewter top. Uh, the second edition was called the Spirit of Mortimer, mm -hmm. um, and did have a pewter top. So the this adds like forty bucks to the bottle. If you read the little card, you know the fancy card that comes with it. It talks about how the Independent is their rarest um, bottling, but their fourth edition, edition, and I can't for the life remember what it's going to be called, is supposed to be even a little cooter. <laughs> the Cooter Edition. <laughs> the Cooter Edition. <laughs> I believe is going to even, if I read correctly, going to be a little bit rarer and also a little bit higher proof. And also much more money. Yeah, I think it's going to be like 400 bucks. This one was what? 300 330 was shipping? Yeah, 300 And I need to thank my friend Kate for finding this for me. Um, took her a while, but she did a great job. So thank you, Kate. This You're is awesome. We can find Whistle Pig, uh, the straight, the the hundred hundred farm stock straight, and um, pretty readily. But this is not <laughs> very available around here. So no, we, we got this. This much. came straight from Vermont. Yep, this right? came. This came from Vermont. Yep, Burlington, Vermont. So I think. Don't quote me on that. So yes, thank you to what was her name again? Kate. Kate. We hiked the Appalachian Trail. Well, a lot of the Appalachian Trail together. Actually, in Vermont, we hiked in Vermont through Vermont. Together. Did you guys cuddle at night? No, oh, I'm embarrassing you, aren't I? <laughs> no, no, they didn't cuddle. I don't nope, know. I don't not. know, Kate. I just was saying We that. did not cuddle at night. <laughs> I was just saying that. <laughs> you want and it? if we were going to cuddle, I'd be a little spoon. <laughs> I, I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I make a good, good Do a wingy, spoon. wingy? Wingy, wingy, wingy. This is uh, their celebration of the spirit of entrepreneurship and... I can't read my writing. <laughs> See, I told you it was a chicken scratch. Innovation. Well, you you write on this paper. I love the paper, by the way. It's very... Uh, Elegant. Cool, but it's like <coughs> mishmashed. Well, like, yeah, it doesn't... It's. I think yeah. it's recycled paper because it's yeah. hard to write on. It's like okay. something... It's like, It looks like a book from the Civil War. Like you'd find in a journal from a, 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 a infantry person, you know, member. <laughs> I'm from the past. <laughs> well, you kind of... Look the part. You could very maybe easily, a John Brown esque. You very you very easily character. could go down and do the reenactments in Gettysburg. I could. You fit uh, in. I probably will. Although the food's delicious. Hmm? Hardtack. You ever have hardtack? Mmm. Good stuff. <laughs> Got to put that in water or hot coffee for a while. Neat nose notes. Let's do the neat nose notes. Uh, before we start the neat, uh, saying the notes, I will say, when we first opened this, as you can see, we've drank quite a bit. Uh, it's uh, just we it's, shared a lot too. Yeah, we shared a lot with with other reviewers. Um, it was very overpowering, and not alcohol wise. Just everything, every note was just so full, full turned up to eleven that you couldn't really distinguish. Since it sat, I it's coming. It came full circle. Oh man, the, the sitting, the oxidation, the. If this you get everything a, that they were doing, because this is a uh, sourced liquid. This is all this. This whiskey is not, you know, was not sourced in Vermont. It's actually Alberta. Many of you know that they are working towards a full grain to bottle. They do have the farm stock that's full grain to bottle. Is that all theirs? Yes. Yeah, but it's it's only aged like I think two or three years. Right? Yeah. But they will event the the eventual is to get away from sourcing mm -hmm. Alberta or anything like that. Uh, they, a, they do know what they're doing up there, though. Yeah. So I, I give I give them credit. Plus, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the whole grain to bottle thing. I can't wait for them to be fully grain to bottle. I think it'll be a great great thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Light and fresh was my first note. It's earthy, oaky, vanilla wafer, like a vanilla wafer. I got spearmint, and not even just regular spearmint. Uh, I'll show my. My stripes here a little bit. In college, I partook in uh, chewing skull spearmint. 
once in a while, and it reminds me of that skull tobacco smell. The pouch? Uh, no, I did not do pouches. I, I was oh, legit. Oh, you were you you pinched for like he was a pincher. It was for like a year, and then I I never did it again. And well, I shouldn't say that. There's another whole story that goes along with that. You probably hear the queen bee laughing in the background about He'll that. He'll blog about that when we start our blog. Yeah. Uh, but I wrote um, chewing tobacco, uh, bready goodness, dark, dark pumpernickel bread. Um, and I wrote very elegant, which I would not have put when we first opened the bottle. When we first opened the bottle, it was like... It was a little overpowering. Like blowing your hair back. And now it's very nuanced. And, and it it's has that, down and like an ebb and flow to the mm -hmm. nose, you know? Yeah, suggest that, you know, if you have a bottle, open it, pour it, mm -hmm. let it sit for at least probably 20 minutes. I also get grassiness and then like a dusty... Yeah, it's earthy, allspice, cinnamon. It's Christmassy to me. Yeah, yeah. It's got Christmas. It's I put Christmas. dusty bottle, but I get a lot of that old-timey dustiness from a lot of rise, so that's probably just the... Maybe piney. I get pine. And like, I don't know if you found this at all. You did evergreen. say you did say vanilla. In vanilla your, wafer. Yep. But somewhere in the back, for me, I found hidden deep was butterscotch. I don't... It, it, you really got to search for it, but I, I did get butterscotch, and I am right now as well. It's underneath the grassiness. It's it's not... Here, let's use our BATB towel. Yeah, oh yeah. Color. Do a... Do a color. Do a color. You guys see that? It's very dark. Yeah, it's caramel. A, it's a dark rye. It's a caramel color. Um, it, it reminds me of the color of Pikesville a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, that caramel color. Smoke, I get a little peat in there mm -hmm. from a that. A little smokiness. I guess that would be from the hogshead from the scotch. Mm -hmm. We want to taste this bad boy? Oh my god, yes. Mm. So, my first tasting note was Spicy Spice McSpicerson. I had hot and spicy. <laughs> yeah. Smoky and a hint of char. Mm hmm. And that smoky is also as a. I said it lingers on the palate forever. It has, it's like you can see. I can't totally talk because it's making my mouth it's water. Still burning as it's going down. Like I still feel the, the, the burn. It, I said it's not needle. my mouth anymore, but like I can still feel the burn like on my chest. And it's not. It's not like a heartburn. It's not a bad burn. It actually feels pretty good. Yep. If I get it was like winter time. I'd be like woo. I said needle warm. needle pricks all over the palate. Um. What'd you call me? <laughs> Very woody. I got a little orange that orange zest, and then to your nose where you said the earthiness, um, I put pungent wet wood. It tastes like moss smells, um, like a, a, a wet forest with moss all over the rotten mm -hmm. wood. I that smell. I get that in my palate. You see that? Mmm. Yummy. And I do get a slight smoke. And that same scotchy, uh, smoky, scotchy, um, like, pencil shaving note is there somewhere, hanging around right at the end, which I think is amazing. Man, I wish this was more, like, I wish they would have made more of these. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot of them left. There can't be that many of these bottles left. And if there are, time to go hard. Yeah, yeah. Those of you that enjoy whiskey and kind of want to take their, their or enjoy rye whiskey and want to take their rye whiskey and just kind of turn it up a notch, mm -hmm. this would be the bottle for you. It kind of puts everything, it's an elevated, I would call it, classify this as an elevated rye whiskey, you know? It's good. It's very good. I enjoy it. Mm. What else we have to talk about this? This is... Uh... Do we get the ABV? Yeah, we did 120.1 yep. proof, and the ABV was 60.1. Um, oh, that's right, because the maths. Legs are pretty decent. Um, it is a higher proof, because so sometimes you don't get quite as many legs, but um, I think it coats the glass nice, and it certainly coats the palate nice. So, um, Whistle Pig, for me was one of the first what you would call higher end 
rye whiskeys that I ever had. Just a straight, you know, and that's like a $90 bottle. I think it might be 80 now. You know, but that was kind of a higher-end rye mm -hmm. when I first started getting into rye whiskey. 100% rye still. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think all the ryes are 100% rye. Yeah, yeah. So, so Whistle Pig, even though some people, you know, do whatever they do, say whatever they say about Whistle Pig, you know, being... Well, I think what happened source. Was, yeah, well, I think what happened was that they weren't forthright. They, they weren't forthright right at, at the first, beginning. And they yeah. sh they, if they would have been, it would have been so much better. Right. But now they're forthright. Now yeah. they're, they're now they're fine saying yeah, yeah. so. They apologize. It's cool. Yeah. Um, I think they said I, that in the last one. I really last don't. Specific. I really don't hold it against them. Me either. I think their marketing. Canada makes great rye. We had the lot forty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think their marketing is pristine, and a lot of times that turns people off. Like they think it's just a fancy bottle and a fancy top and fancy labeling, and you're paying for that. And you know what? Maybe you are, but. Is it a three hundred? Would I go out regularly and pay three hundred dollars for it? No. Is it worth it? Is it worth it for a one-time purchase and to have a bottle for special occasions? I would say yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't const. I wouldn't have a bottle of this. I wouldn't drink this bottle alone and just keep buying a three hundred dollar bottle. It took fourteen years to, to get to this point, so it's, yeah. You know, with that, it is worth. That, I think you know, it's worth having in your collection. That proof, that higher proof, that one hundred twenty point one yep. proof. It's, you know, it, it is worth it as far as. But would I? Is it worth it as far as buying it all the time? No, no. It's not, it's yeah, it could never be daily or anything like that. But. It's a very good one to have on your shelf for Christmas and drinking around the holidays when you, you know, want to share it with a buddy that um, enjoys whiskey, but you don't see every once in a, you know every yeah. one, very often. Um, Hey, it's for Fourth of July, Bubba. Yeah, or for Fourth of July. Keep saying Christmas because <laughs> it smells like Christmas. Well, we decided to do the. Even though it's a Canadian source whiskey, we decided to do Boss Hog because it's the Boss Hog, and you know Americans are known to be loud and you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is very loud. This is a loud rye whiskey. Um, it's made in. It is put together, I should say, and yeah. aged in Vermont. Our goal for this bottle, when we got it, was to open it today. Yeah. But we were on a live show with the Scotch Just Dummies, yeah. and we had been a couple in. A couple? <laughs> a couple dozen. Did we, we didn't do it live, though, did we? We did it on the we after did it, show. We did it on the, we opened it on the after show. Yeah, so for those of you that watch our Scotch Just, when we were on the Scotch Just Dummies episode, which, you know, you know how we feel about those guys. They're them and Six and Malted. They're just amazing guys. Uh, whiskey whistle, all those guys are great. Basement Drammer, yep. congratulations on your new show. Yes, con congratulations, Mel. Um, we're notorious, I guess, for getting other reviewers <laughs> drunk on the after show and keeping them up till 3 a.m. because we're we're bigger guys and we can handle our liquor, and maybe they can't. So, <laughs> but uh, we we ended up getting into the whistle pig, and we sent some of this to the dummies, Two, and they six. actually we yeah. sent some to six and. Couple other people, um, but the, we, we sent these. Mal, the, mal, we, mal, we did send some to. Uh, we sent mal, this mal. to the dummies, way back, when we did the live show, and then they did a live show with our samples already. So you can go watch that. Go check that out. Mm -hmm. They sent us in return. Um, Booker's Rye. Booker's Rye, which is you know one time only deal. So we were very appreciative of that, and we have that review filmed. Yep. Uh, that'll be out. Within the next few weeks, I think. So, uh, stay Look tuned for that to, that, to yeah. see how that compares with this one. <clears throat> so, without further ado, Bubba, do you have a score for this written down already, or you I don't is, have, it, is it on the cuff? I don't have it written down. It's still, technically, are you, do, you, do you have like a range right now? Are you are you going back and forth? Like, I am. I, I but, am too. Kind but of but hold on, right I want now. you to review it first because technically. Uh, give credit where credit is due. Uh, the beard is the one that hunted this down. The beard's friend got it. Um, the beard, it's the beard's bottle. So I'm privileged to be drinking it with them. Um, so I want you to score it first. It's your bottle. 92. 92? That's what I give it. Yeah. I'm going to go 93. Cool. Yeah, we're right. Same. Yeah, we're I think it's an A. I'll we're give, I, I think it's an A. A 93 for us is an A. 92 is a very high B. Um, I could I could see a ninety two. I would say ninety two, ninety three. But ninety I'm gonna say ninety three since you said ninety two. That way we'll give it the the A B. 
<laughs> the AB Swing. We appreciate you guys uh, tuning in with us. Uh, we have to thank Tom R. We have to thank Food Quig. Mm -hmm. We have to thank somebody else. All you guys. All you guys. Thank you. Who else do we have to thank? There's a somebody, ton of them, man. We can't even. Something. We can't even. Oh, Jeff Pickering. That's who we got to thank. We, we always thank Jeff. Jeff's well, the yeah, man. but he just did the whiskey fabric, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should, I guess, the, the, most people will know by the time this comes out, because if they're watching the Dummies Live episode, yeah. um, there's a, Jeff has uh, decided to start a whiskey fabric, and since we always talk about the whiskey fabric, hashtag, Which is figurative. Yep. But he did he, a literal. He did a literal whiskey fabric, and he's sending it, he sent it to six first, and then I think it's coming to Dust. us second. Yeah. And we're just going to put it in a, in a couple of our episodes and then ship it to the next team. I don't know if it's going to the dummies or us next. I don't remember. Do we want to, like, put it out to the next reviewer in the first reviewer to comment here that wants the fabric next? Is that how we want to do it? or how? No? no, because okay. I think Jeff already has a list. I think he knows where he wants it to go. Oh. I don't I don't know that. No, no. That What it was is that it's who asked. That's what Six said. Who asked next? Oh, okay. That's why we asked. Like I actually asked when Six put it out there. I said, "Yeah, yep. we want it next." And then in his show yep, I that we right. watched it, he uh, said he was sending it to us. Yeah. So comment. What's the worst that can happen? We'll say sorry. Somebody else already asked. <laughs> no, they asked via email. <laughs> but anyway, we're glad you guys uh, pulled up a chair. Yeah. And you're right uh, across the table. Sat across the table from us. Um, it is the 4th, 4th of July, July, which is our, na our, our nation's birthday, right? Birthday. Birthday? Yeah. Birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Seven, U.S. of A. 1796. Is that, no, I think it was 1776. Whatever. I don't know. It's a record. We're terrible people. We don't know that? I knew it. <laughs> We're just kidding. We're just kidding. 1776. Yeah. Betsy Ross. Yeah. George Washington. The Delaware. You just name it. Valley Forge. <laughs> Gettysburg. <laughs> Gettysburg. No. Abraham Lincoln. Gettysburg. That's John F. Kennedy. <laughs> that's not the, at least I was naming stuff that had to do with the 4th of July. I think we're rambling. Of course. That's what we're good at. At least we're not slurring. Oh. Ooga shaka, ooga shaka. <laughs> ah. I'm down the whistle, pig. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. We love you. We love your whiskey faces. Tune into the YouTubes. Yep. Um, or subscribe. Hit the bell. Word. Share it with your buddies. Share it with your friends. If you, 21, 27, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. If you can review it. We'll review it. I did that to see if you. Oh, uh -huh, sure you did. Uh -huh. He's all over clipped. He wants to get. A, I think we should stay on for another fifteen minutes. Yeah. Hey, oh. So this is the story I was going to tell. Just kidding. <laughs> if you can drink it, we'll review it. Turn six. six.